Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 39th LAMP tutorial. Um, today we're going to be discussing getters and setters, a common um, object-oriented programming paradigm. Is paradigm even the right word? I don't know. Anyway, so let's uh, make a class. Oops. And in this we're going to say private, and then we're going to say name. Now, we've learned through visibility tutorials that uh, private is not accessible outside of this class. For example, and let's say my test. See, there's nothing there. We cannot modify that, but we want to be able to get this and set this in the outside world but we want to do extra processing so this is what we're going to do Pretty simple. Um, what we're doing here is we have a private variable which cannot be modified from the outside world. We want to be able to modify this. Let's actually let's actually do this for clarity's sake here. The reason why you would do a get and a set, well, is if you want some internal processing to happen to that variable, and you still want to expose that variable to the outside world, but of course the outside world won't know what sort of processing you want to do. For example, when we return the name or we get name, we're returning my name is semicolon and then whatever the name value is. So let's actually test this out. Ta -da, my name is Brian. Now the internal variable is still just Brian, but whenever we say get name, we have the special formatting. A lot of programs actually do that, where they'll hold the internal value and then they have properties, also called getters and setters, that allow you to actually expose the data to the outside world in a different format. Pretty simple, pretty easy concept, but you should be aware of how that works because a lot of programs use that. Um, this is the classic Java slash C++ way of doing a getter and a setter. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.